Today's edition of Off the Menu is sponsored by the St. Louis Science Center. Hey, it's St. Louis Post-Dispatch restaurant critic Ian Frobe with Off the Menu. This week I visit the Purple Martin, which opened back in March in Fox Park. Now, usually a restaurant that opened in March I would have reviewed by now, but the Purple Martins had a very interesting first seven months. When it opened, the menu featured Mediterranean and North African cuisine. But then after only a few months, they changed course to a more comfort food approach. Then this summer, they brought on board Katie Ayers as chef. Ayers, you might remember, was the chef and owner of Riddles in the Del Mar Loop during its final years. Her parents were the founders of that restaurant. Ayers has sort of brought the menu full circle. It's bistro fare, but with Mediterranean and North African touches. You see here a fish stew. Here's one of my favorite dishes, the duck. Uh, just a beautifully pan seared duck breast with you know, tomato, basil, preserved lemon, and olive. Just gives it a nice little nudge of flavor. Uh, same approach with lamb, beautiful uh, piece of roasted lamb leg, uh, again, with tapenade and some preserved lemon. One of the most interesting dishes here at the Purple Martin is lablabi. This is a traditional Tunisian uh, soup or stew with chickpeas. Uh, it's a really interesting flavor. The broth is sort of garlicky and, and cumin. Uh, there's preserved lemon, again, and pickles that go on top. Uh, you can get it with tuna, uh, but you don't have to. Uh, it's a really fascinating dish. Right now, actually, there's not enough broth in the soup, which is the best part. Uh, but it's a really fascinating dish, and I think it could become the Purple Martin signature. You can read my entire review at stltoday.com or pick up a copy of Go Magazine this weekend, and I will be back next week with another review and off the menu. Reveal the Invisible, Mysteries of the Unseen World, opening soon at the St. Louis Science Center Omnimax Theater.